Hi guys, this is Ajahn Abraham. In this video, I'll be introducing the advanced request fuzzer of Xenotix. So in order to access the advanced request fuzzer, go to scanner module and then select advanced request fuzzer. So uh, advanced request fuzzer is having the three different fuzzer modules that is a blind fuzzer, intelli fuzzer and context fuzzer. And now uh, it allows you to craft the headers like you can define the URL, the method of the request, the version of the HTTP, then referrer, user agent, and so on. So, so you can add or modify any header. If you want to add any header, you can give the name of the header and then the value of the header and click on add. So if you want to remove some header that you are added, you can click on that particular header and click on remove. And clear will remove all the headers from this list. Similarly, you can add cookies too. So give the cookie name, cookie value, and then click on add cookie. Now, if you want to test a parameter, a value, a field, anything, you can substitute that particular part with open square bracket, capital X, and closing square bracket. And if you need to add any random value with every request, you can add open square bracket, R, and closing square bracket. Now, uh, let's go to a vulnerable web app. So, here is a vulnerable web app. So, there is a reflected process scripting in this page. So, if you type anything here, and uh, click on submit you can see that it is getting reflected here and uh, the parameters name is name itself so we need to test this so this is basically using a get request so let's copy the url go to advanced request fuzzer give it in the url field mark the request as get and uh, uh, if you just make a request you'll be getting a response and uh, again you get the login screen and this means that uh, this is an authenticated page so you will be needing the session cookies so go to inspect element network and then refresh the page go to the top then select the page and here you can navigate through cookies so there are three different cookies one is the PHP session ID, a CSR of token, and then the security cookie. So here what we need is basically the PHP session ID, copy it, and come to advanced request fuzzer, give it under the add cookie or header. So the name will be PHP session ID, and copy the cookie value. Go to advanced request fuzzer and uh, paste it in the value field and then click on add cookie. We need one more cookie. So let's copy the cookie security and we need its value to be low. So set it to low. Then add the cookie. Now let's make a request. Go back to Xenotix. You can see that now we are inside the particular page so here if you need to test the parameter name let's say we give it a value like svg on load equals alert and then make a request see it's getting reflected so the page is vulnerable now, uh, you can also use this blind fuzzer, intelli fuzzer, or context fuzzer, but as of now, I won't be using that. So, the advantages of having advanced request fuzzer is that you can basically tamper any part of the header, you can add additional headers and additional cookies. So, let's see another scenario. We have a website uh, called whatsmyuseragent.com, which basically shows your user agent. So, let's copy the URL, come back to advanced request fuzzer give the URL here sorry just remove this and give the URL here so the request method will be get and uh, let's uh, make a request now uh, let's go back to Synotix now you can see that uh, the user agent is being printed out there right so we need to test that particular uh, header which sends a user agent so let's remove this and give an access payload. 
equals red zero and then make a request yes so that means again here the website is vulnerable to cross site scripting okay so coming back to request for sir so here are a couple of things you can do you can basically have a get request a post request or a trace request so uh, now instead of just giving a payload you can just fuss around any header uh, parameter value etc by giving the opening square bracket capital x and closing square bracket and suppose you want to add a random number with every request you can use open square bracket capital r and closing square bracket let's uh, first this and see what is happening so if we just go back to the page you can see that a payload is inserted along with the random number so with every request you can see the payload is getting inserted and a random number is being added all right so let's uh, stop this now So uh, basically this field will be displaying the response header and uh, this field will be showing the response point. So I hope you got a better understanding about advanced request fuzzer. Thanks for watching.